Researchers from Lee Kong Chen Natural History Museum have just identified a new firefly species. Uh, what you're looking at uh, in a second is a specimen of the new species. Uh, they've named it Luciola singapura or the Singapore firefly. Specimens of this species were first collected decades uh, ago back from uh, Nisun Swamp Forest the last remaining freshwater swamp forest in Singapore, and more recently in 2019 in that same area. However, researchers have only just managed to distinguish it from other species. This comes more than a century after the last time a new firefly uh, species was identified here. Let's get more from Dr. Wan Farida, a research fellow at the Lee Kong Chia Natural History Museum. She is joining us. Dr. Wan Farida, uh, what was it that piqued your curiosity that this could actually be a different species and how does it reflect on uh, Singapore's biodiversity? Well, about uh, 10 years ago, uh, during Second International Firefly Symposium in Kuala Lumpur, um, uh, I, I, I learned from NPAC's team that they have unidentified species of this group called uh, Luciola. And it sparks my curiosity because I was like, what species it could be? Because definitely it is a first record uh, in the checklist of, of, uh, of Singapore fireflies. So uh, when I got a chance to examine other specimens in the Lee Kong Chan Natural History Museum, I, I reached out to my collaborators at uh, NUS, of course, and and, 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 and the parks, and also firefly experts from uh, Malaysia and Australia. So together we actually uh, confirmed that this uh, is a new species. So, um, what actually um, this discovery tell us about biodiversity in Singapore? Um, there are two things I can tell now is that it actually signals uh, two important messages. One is about like um, the, the it signals the importance of natural history collections. Uh, more research need to be done um, on museum collections. And second one is biodiversity research uh, requires more boots on the ground so we need to explore more about the biology and ecological aspects of the population you certainly do need lots of boots on the ground to get the amount of data that's required to study such a species. I mean, it took two years uh, to collect some of this data, to analyse it before uh, this new species was identified, Dr. Wanfrieda. So why did it take so long? What were, what were the other challenges that were, were faced? Right. Um, so determining whether something is a new species, uh, so re researchers like us, we need to use different tools to find out whether they are this species, this specimen is unique. So we need to make sure that they are genetically and morphologically um, um, different. So in this case, um, in order to do so, researchers must collaborate. In my case, in our study, we actually collaborate uh, with the international team. And that takes time. Actually, um, we need also, along with the time, not just the time, but also the need uh, for sources of funding. Um, but the other challenge is that fireflies in this group, Luciola group, is very challenging because they all look uh, simil similar in terms of morphology, in terms of feature. So uh, we, a taxonomist, we have to perform very intricate uh, dissection on the, uh, the, the um, reproductive organ of this firefly. And also we have to perform that molecular data actually support that the species morphologically different from each other. Uh, I, I was curious because it, it, is it a strong, healthy population? Because we know that you know tourism activities and just uh, urbanization have impacted five five populations elsewhere. So should we then be concerned about the populations here? And, and what can we do to protect them? Mm -hmm. um, well, in this study, well, our study is, uh, wasn't designed to study the um, to monitor the population. Uh, but um, given that uh, Lucilla Singapura, the, the Singapore firefly, actually uh, legally protected, which is, is in the nature reserve, I am I am convinced that this species is still thriving in the wild. But in terms of um, whether or not, uh, uh, how do we do with this? Um, um, about this, this tourism impact, um, I think it's crucial that we follow uh, science-based uh, best practices. For example, first, if we want to conserve the habitat, uh, we have to make sure that the habitat um, we conserve required also habitat for all life stages to thrive, um, not just for adults, but also for larvae, for pupa and eggs. Um, 
also we have to take note that uh, any conservation plan or any any work that we do, we also must involve local communities um, because they are they have the best knowledge about the local population. And finally, uh, in order to for us to love fireflies, we need to get to know them. And in order to do so, we should provide training uh, for guides and educators. Absolutely. And we love the name as well, Lucio La Singapura. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Wanfrieda Research Fellow at the Lee Kong Chien Natural History Museum.